not, you're late. It's my show. I can be late if I want to. <laughs> Good evening, and welcome to Josh Robinson Presents Off Topic, starring me, Josh Robinson. I'm your host, and I'm here with my guest today, jo <laughs> Sorry, Maisie Carter. Introduce yourself, Maisie. Hi, I'm Maisie, sadly not Josh, and uh, I'm a big film fan. Currently my favourite film. Well, I have to say, Gone's Galaxy Volume 1 is definitely my favourite film. Josh, I was talking. I'm the presenter here. We're going to be previewing two films today. Avengers Infinity War, directed by the Russo Brothers, and Black Panther, directed by Ryan Coogler. I'm reviewing another two, Star Wars The Last Jedi, directed by Ryan Johnson, and Daddy's Home 2, directed by Sean Anders. Starting with the most anticipated movie of this year, Star Wars The Last Jedi. This is the eighth film in the Star Wars series, not including Rogue One, which I personally enjoy quite a bit. A basic overview of the plot is Rey, played by Daisy Ridley, develops newly discovered abilities with the guidance of Luke Skywalker, played by Mark Hamill. In addition, Finn, played by John Boyega, goes undercover. If you somehow haven't seen the trailer, we're going to play a short clip right now. When I found you, I saw raw, untamed power. And beyond that, something truly special. Now, I understand you're a big Star Wars fan, Maisie. I don't know what you're talking about. What did you think of this Star Wars? I thought it was really good. Um, I thought that it suited the Star Wars series quite well, and I've enjoyed all the others apart from the prequels, one, two, and three, because mm -hmm. everyone knows they're really bad. Oh, yeah. However, after watching this new one, I think that the next one's going to be just as good as well. So did you think the trailer did the film justice and did a good job promoting the movie? I do think it did a good job. Uh, the trailer was great. Uh, however, I think people were excited way before the trailer even came out. But every film needs a trailer. True, but diehard fans would have seen it either way. So what did you think of Ryan Johnson initially before the film came out? Uh, I actually haven't seen anything else that he's made. However, after seeing this Star Wars film, I'm confident that he's a great director and I might go and see a few of his other films. So it definitely fulfilled your expectations? Yeah, then. definitely. Uh, what was your favourite scene? Uh, my favourite scene was when... Well, uh, personally, I'm not a big fan of Star Wars, but there was so much interest in the film, and after watching the film, I totally understand why. Uh, Yoda, little guy here, uh, is funny as always, mm -hmm. hilarious with the one-liners, so Definitely. blunt, he's great, it's my favourite character by far. Mm -hmm. And the uh, seal penguin things are just adorable. Oh, they were so cute. I love the little animals that they put in this film. Oh, yeah, honestly, I, I thought it was just really clever, that the way mm -hmm. they targeted, you know, younger audiences with, yeah. with, with that aspect. Um, moving on to Daddy's Home 2, which is a Christmas film. Uh, this is quite a simple storyline, obviously continuation from the original Daddy's Home. It follows a dysfunctional family and their struggles balancing the children's attention between the stepdad Brad, played by Will Farrell, a stereotypical softy putting his wife and children before his own wants and needs, uh, along with Dusty, which is the biological father, played by Mark Wahlberg, a rebellious, masculine, irresponsible father. Uh, Daddy's Home 2 falls on from this, with Dusty now being a new stepdad himself, and he's been challenged by the bi biological father, Roger, which is played by John Cena. I have a lot of mixed opinions about this film. Here's the trailer. We got a big surprise. A trampoline? I have the pony? Fake IDs? It's even better. This year, no more back and forth at Christmas. We're not doing the back and forth. Nope, I just said that. Yay! A together Christmas like a normal family! A together Christmas! I Hello? Grandpa Kurt? My dad is going to scoff at everything we do. Your father hasn't met the new Evolve Dusty. I mean, who wouldn't be impressed with you? Ben. Oh, dear God. This is going to come off weird, Dusty, but he's beautiful. Why don't you bring the car around? I'm not the driver. I'm Brad. Stepdad? My dad's coming, too. Dad! Red sweater. He wears a red sweater so I can see him in a crowd. There's my big man! Oh. <laughs> So what did you think of this film overall, Maisie? Uh, I thought that it was funny to a point. However, there's only so far it can go before it got a bit far-fetched and ridiculous. Uh, it's really cringeworthy, and I feel like although they tried to make it a family-orientated film, it was just 
too far stretched and that you could tell they tried a bit too hard. Yeah, I totally agree. See, although uh, it did have some funny innuendos mm -hmm. and some funny parts in there for like the older audiences, I do feel like it was too forced and cringeworthy at it some point. It did seem that way. I totally agree. And uh, loads of scenes felt really unrealistic and like the characters should have like died, yeah, but it yeah. just makes them seem like they're some sort of superhuman when they're really not. Yeah, for example, in the first Daddy's Home, when uh, Brad is seen uh, uncontrollably riding, mm -hmm. riding uh, his motorcycle uh, into the house, ends up getting stuck in the wall, uh, destroying the family car. It's it was the CGI and editing, in my opinion, was just atrocious. Yeah, I agree. Uh, but you know, if you're looking for a fun family film to watch, it's definitely a good watch. It's funny and. Uh, I definitely would watch it, yeah. but if you're looking for a good film to watch by yourself, I definitely wouldn't. It's I think that this second one did worse than the first one because it's basically just copied and pasted with a slightly different scenario, like a little twist on it, but it's basically the same. And I think that although there were a few amusing points, it's really hard to like get into the film because it's so unrealistic. And you can tell that the director did try, but I think he tried a bit too hard. Uh, speaking of director, Sean Anders, uh, I heard he has a comedic background, but uh, have you seen any of, his, any of his films? I've seen a couple of them, but I don't think that after this film I'll want to see any more. Yeah, definitely, I totally agree. Just very forced and yeah, cringeworthy, as we said. Yeah, definitely very forced. Um, we asked some members of the public what they thought of the two movies uh, we reviewed, and here's what they said. Not as of yet, no. Uh, so I was last Jedi, yes. I uh, think Star Wars, the four, five, and six are pretty, pretty okay. Force Awakens was good. The first three were pile of nothing nice. And I've not seen uh, Daddy's Home. However, I have seen Grown Ups, and that's a really good film. My opinions, I'm a big Star Wars fan, so I went in with, with expectations, as uh, every Star Wars fan probably would. Um, and uh, without any spoilers, although overall it was, uh, it was very well made. has an interesting director in Ryan Johnson, who's, uh, who's directed Luper and Brick before. Um, hasn't really done a big budget sci-fi epic such as Star Wars. Um, so uh, there was question marks over whether he could handle that sort of film. And in the end, I think he did a fantastic job. Welcome back. Now, we will be previewing two Marvel movies due to be out next year, Infinity War and Black Panther. Uh, starting with Infinity War, this is predicted to be one of the biggest blockbusters of 2018. Uh, the Avengers unite to fight the most evil enemy yet, the evil Thanos. Uh, Thanos plans to collect all six Infinity Stones and use these artifacts to inflict his twisted will on reality. Uh, the fate of the planet lies in the Avengers. Uh, are you excited for this movie, Macy? I'm so excited for this film. I've loved all the Avengers movies so far, and this looks like it's going to be the best one yet. The final conclusion to all of them. It looks amazing. Here's a sneak peek. There was an idea to bring together a group of remarkable people to see if we could become something more. So when they needed us, we could fight the battles. That they never could. So Marvel have hired the Russo brothers to direct Infinity War, which is due to release on May 4th next year, uh, bringing the current chapter of the Marvel Cinematic Universe to an end. I'm guessing you've heard of the Russo brothers before, Maisie. Yeah, I have. And uh, all the films so far have come to a great conclusion. And um, I'm sure that this film will fulfill expectations as well as fit well with the rest of the Marvel Universe and all the films that have entangled to meet this one end. Uh, the movie includes some of Hollywood's biggest names, such as Benedict Cumberbatch as Doctor Strange, Robert Downey Jr. obviously as Iron Man, mm -hmm. and Chris Hemsworth as Thor. Uh, what do you think of this powerhouse cast? I think that the casting choices have been amazing up to this point. I think that the actors bring the characters to life in amazing ways, and they bring them to the screen really well, and I'm excited to see them all come together in one final showdown against Thanos, and see them all battle it out. 
See, personally, um, I think that's what the problem is with the film, is that like, you know, they just use powerhouse cast and great actors to disguise the fact that the what's really hidden underneath mm. and what's really actually happening in the film is just repeated. Uh, I feel like it's just a big uh, consumer thing where they're just trying to sell tickets and cinema seats. And honestly, I'd, I, I couldn't, I'm not interested. Uh, Although a lot of the actors that are in this became famous because of Avengers. Oh, I didn't know that. For example, actually. Chris Hemsworth, his first big film was Thor, so... Oh, okay, fair enough. Well, uh, that's fair enough, to be honest, but mm. personally, I still think that, uh, you know, even though the first one was really good and I thoroughly enjoyed that, uh, it's it's just still kind of dra dragged out to this yeah, point. Yeah, there are a lot of, like, Spider-Man films, for example, mm -hmm. that have came out over the years. There's, like, like, seven or eight now, and it's just getting too stretched out and too ridiculous and there's just so many storylines and it's so hard to follow yeah exactly it's mm -hmm. been milked and uh, it definitely I'm has i'm really glad it's finally coming to an end <laughs> <laughs> uh now on to black panther i'm personally very excited for this film uh t'challa returns to take his rightful throne as king of wakanda after his father's death or found, although finds his sovereignty challenged by a long-time adversary mabaku which is played by winston duke uh in a conflict that will have global consequences it's due to release on the 9th of February 2018 in the UK. And what are your thoughts on this upcoming film, Maisie? This is another film that I really want to see. It looks like it's going to be a great addition and he's going to play a big role in Infinity War. So it'll be good to see how they build up his character in this standalone film rather than just him as a kind of a cameo in Captain America Civil War. Well, here's a sneak peek of the trailer. I have seen gods fly. I've seen men build weapons that I couldn't even imagine. Uh-huh. I've seen aliens drop from the sky. Yeah. But I have never seen anything like this. How much more are you hiding? Hold up. Let's go, go, go. My son, it is your time. Show me my respect and bow down. T'Challa is played by Chadwick Boseman, who had his first appearance in Captain America's Civil War. Uh, I'm personally a big fan of Chadwick Boseman, both as an actor and as a physical specimen. Uh, <laughs> sugar daddy. Josh, please, focus. Sorry, sorry, I just got carried away whenever I think about Chadwick. You know Chadwick. Uh, the movie also stars Michael B. Jordan, which I know you like quite a lot as well. Yeah, I do, he's really good. As a physical good. specimen as well. Absolutely. And uh, what are your thoughts on Chadwick Boseman? Uh, I think that after seeing Civil War, he's done a great job of like kind of introducing the character of Black Panther. And I'm excited to see him in the standalone movie and see how he acts out the role of Black Panther and see how he takes it on from the comics that Black Panther previously existed on. Yeah, um, Wesley Snipes first mentioned uh, his intention to work on a Black Panther film in 1992, which unfortunately never came to fruition. Uh, I think Wesley really would have suited that role, considering how the character he played in Blade. Um, I agree, yeah. Uh, ten films were announced to be made uh, off the Black Panther comics in 2005, and uh, Mark Bailey was hired to write a script for this film in January 2011. Uh, and the movie is directed by Ryan Coogler. Have you seen any of Ryan Coogler's films? I've seen Creed, which was... a great addition to the Rocky franchise, which also starred Michael B. Jordan as the main character. The film also starred Sylvester Stallone as Rocky, which tied it all into the entire franchise. And I've not seen any of his other films. However, I'm really looking forward to this one. And hopefully if it's good, I'll see more of his films and I'll get a better kind of understanding of how the director brings his ideas to life. Yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm just really excited for something original from Marvel. Yeah, me too. And, and it seems really different from their usual thing. It's yeah. not based in America. It's in the centre of Africa in Wakanda. And it just seems really different than what we're used to. Um, well, that's all we have time for today. Uh, thank you very much, Maisie, for joining on my show today. Thank you for having me. And I'll be here next time starring me, Joshua Robinson. Good night and goodbye. 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 Goodbye.
Josh Robinson, Josh Robinson, Josh Robinson, Josh Robinson, Josh Robinson, Josh Robinson, Josh Robinson. It's my show.